Okay, so the last time I wrote a research paper about continuing your professional education was about 20 years ago. Um, so it was not a lot of research at that point in time, and I'm picking up the idea with a little spin on it now. So my little Zotero library does not have too many entries. So for my pre-reading, I really need to go out and just find anything I get my hands on to give myself some context for how to really dig into this proposal and dig into what, what's probably going to be a scoping review. So I'm going to flip on over into Google Chrome and I'll show you a couple ways to populate your library. I've already showed you how to um, uh, export a bunch of citations from PubMed. You can do that from any database that you can get an RIS from. But I'm going to look at three popular places where you find information and one is Amazon. Um, so here we are in Amazon and I found a book on CNE and so I have my plugin over here for uh, Zotero. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to pull down and see that it will put my what I want to save it in the section here is continuing education and I'm going to use my pull down menu and click on done. And then I'm going to pop on over into Zotero and see what happened. And what, what I got was a little bit of hamburger and a little bit of good stuff. So the good stuff is that it's got the publisher, it's got the date, it's got the edition. Um, the abstract is the summary from Amazon. So this is going to give me lots of good keywords. But what I need to clean up here is the title. And the author name editors came in looking a little bit like hamburger. So under normal circumstances, I would stop and fix this right now. But basically, this saves you from having to type information in. And oh, by the way, Zotero knows it's a book. So that makes a lot of this so much easier. It makes it just, it, it's, oh gosh, such a fun resource. I have had a lot of fun with them, learning all of these. Uh, let me just geek out for a second. Okay, thanks. So next, I'm going to look at Google Scholar. And this is one of those... Um, resources that I encourage people not to use because it's just unwieldy. Continuing a professional education, 3,890,000 results in you know seven tenths of a second. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and select one of these and bring it into my Zotero library. So I can, uh, I've, actually some of these are duplicates. Um, so let me just double check and see if I've got, what's it, uh, Cervero over here. Do I have Cervero? Yes, I've already got such a Cervero in. Sorry, I did that one before as a test. So I'm going to choose uh, oh 1988 that's a book um, 2000 learning and professional practice let me just go ahead and click on this and see where it takes us and this takes us into Eric and it gives us an entry so again I've got my plug in here um, there's not a lot of info in here I'm not sure if much is going to come in but I guess it's got the uh, page numbers etc so continuing education use my little pull down arrows here to click on done and the author's daily. So again, popping over into Zotero and daily does come in and I'm going to again have to do some cleanup because it knows it's a journal article, but it's not telling me where um, all, all the metadata that I really want, which is kind of disappointing. So let's go ahead and pop back on over and um, moving on to maybe another journal article here. That's another Eric entry. Um, okay, here's a study, Rural Perceptions of Continuing Professional. That is probably pretty interesting. So let me click on this and see where it takes me here. And this takes me into Helio. Now I've got a landing page that's got an abstract. It's got the publication date. So I'm guessing this is going to give me more information. So again, clicking here, Continuing Education, get my correct arrow, and done. And then we pop over, and the author is Jukala. So we look at Jukala et al. And the abstract doesn't come in too nicely, but I've got everything else else that I need. So yay. So it's easy enough to click in and hunt and peck. And again, it makes Zotero like a, really like a scrapbooking program. So next, if I'm in PubMed, uh, if I don't want to export all a thousand results that I found, but I want to find a specific article, I can go ahead and choose any one of these and let's say performance change and treated with tobacco addiction online. Okay, this looks like it's professionally or potentially interesting. Click on this to get to the landing page and again, click here and continuing education. So that's the easy part of getting everything into your library. So I'm just randomly putting things in here. But the benefit of putting things in here randomly is that I can then 
sort, take some notes, organize them, and easily click back into that landing page if I decide that that article is going to be worth my time. So that's the easy way through all of this, and it helps you populate your library. Very useful for pre-reading, and it, that can help you uh, identify your topic and uh, get yourself up and moving and at least have potential resources. So happy researching.